I'm not becoming feminine by doing dishes. You know, when I change a diaper, I mean, I remember I had a, a grandpa, you know, in the era that he grew up and that was kind of the girls, that was the woman's thing. That's the mom's thing. You do the diaper thing. And I don't think he changed a diaper his entire life. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like four kids and God bless him. I mean, he was a good provider and a faithful husband and, mm. you know, all those things, but that wasn't the kind of the role back then. And, but for me, like I've lost count. I mean, how many diapers I've changed. I mean, it's in the thousands, but it's, it's a masculine act in that. And so we've got to really kind of reframe a lot of these stereotypes of, and you think the most masculine man I've ever met in my life was a man who was deeply passionate about poetry and theater and the arts, and his name was St. John Paul II. And I've never been in the presence of a more masculine man. And I just say like, thank God he didn't grow up in a culture that told him that if he's into theater and the arts, that he's just not that much of a man. 